All right, so I'm back working on this Vans ad campaign, and today we're gonna to be making a typographic poster that we're also going to use as a shirt design. I have some very loose ideas that I think I might wanna do or try out, but really this is gonna be a lot of experimenting and I'm not really sure how it's gonna go. For all I know, I'm gonna end up scrapping everything and I'm not even gonna to wanna to do this, but the only way to find out is to do it. So let's get to it. So the very first idea that I had was to take a rectangle and then put the letters inside of it, kind of mix them up, twist them around to be a little bit chaotic. And I thought that that might be a good place to start. I don't know if I was necessarily looking to finish there, but I thought, hey, I'll try this. I'll see what comes up. Maybe I'll get a different idea. Maybe something will hit me. But honestly, after working with it for a while, I honestly just really liked how it turned out. So really, I just wanted to spend some time with it and really just try to figure out the best way to make it look as good as it possibly could. Like one of the things that I ended up doing was actually kind of inverting the idea where instead of the letters being in a box, the letters are actually there and they're just being cut off on the sides. So I guess you could say they're inside of a invisible box, which isn't a huge difference from where it was before, but for some reason, I feel like it's a lot better. Now, after I had that idea finished, I wanted to move on to something else. I just wanted to try a different idea just to make sure that there wasn't something better. And so initially, the first thing that I wanted to play around with was just kind of incorporating the words in a way that they would kind of blend together. So they would share different letters and stuff. I thought that might be kind of interesting and kind of give a cool shape and just generally be interesting and fun to look at. And so, of course, I just kind of played around with that a while, just trying to come up with some different ideas and just seeing what I could come up with. I liked this layout, but I also wanted to add in some photography. And so I just kind of added some shapes in there just for some placeholders of in case I wanted to, just to see what it would look like. Sometimes you don't really know how things will balance out or how things will work. So it's nice to kind of work with shapes so that way you can see how it affects the entire piece. I was also trying to figure out the spacing between Better With Wear and the Vans logo. I felt like there was something that needed to be done there, but I just wasn't really sure what I needed to do. I was testing out a bunch of labels that I had, thinking maybe that might work, but honestly, it just didn't really work that well. So I scrapped that, left it as it is, and then I started to go back to work on the photography again. And honestly, it ended up turning out pretty cool. I wasn't really sure where I was going with it, but I just kind of kept going and, you know, it, and I think it ended up at a pretty cool place. I had the layout in a way that I really liked, I wanted to kind of play around with, with the composition of it. Because at first I kind of had it in the middle and then I wanted to see what it would look like in the top and the bottom and just see what I could come up with. What I ended up landing on is putting a picture of the shoes below it, which I think overall was probably the best decision I could have made for this poster design. It's got a little bit of a grid look, but then there's also a lot of cool negative space so that way it doesn't feel too rigid. Since that second poster came together pretty well, I wanted to see if I could take the typography that I had from the first idea that I had and then incorporate it into an actual poster design. That way it looked a little bit more finished and not just like the typography just sitting on a blank poster. So I was trying to lean into the strengths of the typography. Like I said, since it's being like cut off, like it's in an invisible box, I was like, well, since it's already kind of like that, I might as well just go full force and just kind of put it into a box on the side, which ended up working perfectly because it could fit into a shape that basically split the composition up into two halves. And then from there, I just kind of started playing around a little bit with some different ideas. Originally, I was trying to stick with what I had been typically doing for this project, which is kind of like this collage with all of these different assets, but I just didn't really like it. It just didn't seem to really work in this case. So I said, scratch that, let's try some photography instead, which I think ended up working out a lot better. So I managed 
managed to come up with two solid designs that I really like. They both have different aspects that I like about them, but if I'm gonna go with one, I'm probably gonna go with this one. I still might end up going back and doing something else, but as far as I'm concerned, I think this is a pretty good design. I may end up revisiting this idea and trying something else and maybe I'll come up with something new, but I think as of right now, this is a solid start. And like I said earlier, another one of the goals that I need is a shirt design and I was hoping I could use the typography from these designs for a shirt design. And so if I take the typography from this poster and put it onto a t-shirt, this is what it looks like. I think it's okay. I think I can do a little bit better. It's one of those things where I feel like it's got a good start, but it's not quite there yet. I think it works better in the context of the poster, but it doesn't necessarily translate over to the t-shirt. And so I'm probably gonna try to take this concept that I've already established for the poster design and try to rearrange it to make it fit on the t-shirt a little bit better. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of the poster designs off camera, but while I'm here, I'm gonna come up with a couple different designs for the t-shirt design, and then we'll move on to the next part of the project, which is the shoebox design. So since just taking the typography from the poster design and just putting on a t-shirt wasn't gonna work, I figured maybe I could use the exact same idea, but just make some tweaks just to make it a little bit better and make it fit within the confines of a t-shirt design. So that's pretty much where I started, just using what I already had as a base and as an inspiration, and then just trying to tweak it and make some adjustments. That way it might work a little bit better. What I thought might be good is having a more elongated version of it. I feel like that might kind of work as like a chest piece. And so I spent time with that, just trying to kind of see if I can make it work, you know, like placing the logo, maybe add some color and just seeing what that might look like. After doing all of that, I still really wasn't happy with where I was at. So what I ended up doing was going to the Vans website and taking a look at some of the shirts so maybe I could get some inspiration and see what they like to do on some of their apparel. And that was actually a really big help because I eventually came up with an idea that I actually really like. Unfortunately, I started working on it thinking I would do just a little bit, test it out, and then I would just record the rest of it. Uh, I didn't. I just did the entire thing and I didn't stop. So anyways, this is the shirt design that I ended up with. What I really needed to do was just move away from the typography aspect of it. I feel like I was trying to force that part of it a little bit too much, but once I kind of got away from that and I was free to do a little bit more, I was able to come up with this, which I think is a really cool design and is a lot better than what I was working with before. But I still feel like it still plays a little bit into the theme of better with wear since it's still kind of rough and grungy and has some texture to it. So now we only have two things left, the shoe box and the tag. So here are the four box designs that I ended up coming up with. Now my favorite two are these two right here. 